Every boat's going to be equipped with the appropriate size anchor and anchor line. The anchor should always be stored towards the front of the boat because that's where you're going to anchor from. You never want to anchor towards the back of the boat because you increase your odds of getting the rope caught up in the propeller or any other part of the motor back there. On this boat specifically, it's going to be stored under your front right seat right here. As you can see, the anchor and the rope are attached to each other, but neither are attached to the boat at the moment. So you want to keep that in mind when you go to anchor that you don't just drop everything in the water and forget that it's all attached together. In order to get a good grab on the earth um, and in the ground underneath the water, you want to follow a couple steps. Uh, the first of which is going to be to point the nose of the boat into the wind. The way that these anchors work is they drag on the bottom of the lake and the bottom or the ground underneath the water and it's going to grab into the mud there. Um, so you, the wind will slowly push the boat back. You'll drop the anchor into the water. There's no need to throw it out in front of the boat, but you'll drop it in, just slowly let it down, letting the rope run through your hands, but keeping in mind that the other end is not attached to anything at the moment, so don't let it all go at one time. As you're lowering it down, you want to kind of guesstimate the depth, and you can do that as you're lowering it down because you'll feel the anchor hit the ground down there. And then uh, you want to use a seven to one scope, meaning that for every foot of water, you want to use seven feet of line. So you're letting it out, um, say so you let it down, to 10 feet and you want to let out 70 feet total and then you'll secure it to the boat and when you go to secure it to the boat you'll always secure it to the front here um, either side's fine but you have an eye hook which is on the tip of the pontoon there that's welded straight to it and then you also have cleats on the front and left right um, that you can secure it to as well you never want to secure it to a handle or a rail because it could bend or break that off when you go to pull the anchor back out of the water you'll just grab the rope you'll slowly pull the boat towards the anchor and then when the boat gets right above the anchor you'll pull it slowly up out of the water just being careful not to pull it up against the boat and use that as a leverage point because um, it could potentially add damage to the railing. To get it to the top of the water, just try and uh, get rid of any debris or mud that might have accumulated on the anchor from it being dug in the ground um, underneath the water surface. Wash it all off. Bring the, the loose rope and the anchor all into the boat um, inside the rail so you'll untie it, wrap it up nice and neat, and then store it back in your uh, anchor storage compartment on this boat, like I said, underneath the front right seat. You want to do that, um, get any loose ends out because you don't want the water to grab that and bring it towards the back of the boat and potentially get it caught up in the propeller or the engine.